Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three different effects that you guys can use in your car edits. Before we get started with this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get right into it. I'm a pimp with this 40, gotta now, I don't really know what to call this first effect, but I guess it's like an outline glow effect or something like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this effect. So once you have your clip here in your timeline, you just want to go to the rotor brush like always. And you want to rotor brush out your subject, in this case, the car. And let's just go ahead and make a rough outline around the car here. And you just want to obviously fix up the rotor brush because it's not going to be perfect at the start. So let's go ahead and fix up the rotor brush. Hit Alt on your keyboard and drag along the outline of the rotor brush to remove an outline. All right, so that looks pretty good for the first frame. I'm just going to go frame by frame using the arrow keys, just seeing if anything messes up. Uh, I might just kind of speed through this because I don't really want to wait the whole time just fixing up everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit freeze. But obviously you want to go ahead and go through every frame, making sure that it looks super good. And yeah, once you finish that, you just want to go here and hit freeze and then it will just freeze all your rotor brush frames. All right, so that's done. We can close out of that panel and we are back in our main composition here. And you just want to go ahead and duplicate this clip. So I'm going to hit control D and on this bottom layer, we can delete the rotor brush. And on this top layer, we want to add an effect called find edges right here. We just want to bring this onto our clip. We're going to go here and hit invert. So now you can see it inverted the colors there and you can go here to the blend modes and you can go to like screen or add if you want and you can kind of like offset this. You can like scale it up if you want. Maybe like move it around and you can play that back see what that looks like. So yeah, you can get tons of different effects using this. This is kind of just the basics giving you guys different ideas of what to use. But yeah, I'm just going to keep this on normal without any blending modes. And I think that looks super cool. Um, what we can go ahead and do is add some glow to that. So I'm just going to add the default glow from After Effects. Let's bring the glow threshold to 20, uh, glow radius to like 90. And then what we can do is change the original colors to like A and B colors and just mess with these. So like change this to like blue or something. Change the color B to like another blue, lighter blue maybe like that. So yeah, you can get tons of different effects using the glow and the fine edges both together. So with the glow off, you can see the difference there. And then once again, you can bring this to screen with the glow on. So that's super cool, super simple effect that you guys can use in your edits. And let's move on to the second effect. Now, once again, for the second effect, I don't really know what to call this. I'm just going to call it like a warp effect or something. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to create this effect. So once again, we just want to go ahead and rotor brush out our car here. So let's just go here to the rotor brush and double click our layer and then just create an outline around your car. And then once again, just go frame by frame. And then once you're done rotor brushing, you just want to go here and freeze the rotor brush. All right, so that's done. So we can close that layer. Now we're back here to our main composition. And once again, we want to duplicate this clip. So hit control D and delete the rotor brush on the bottom layer. And now we want to go to the effects and presets and search up scale wipe. And let's just bring this onto our bottom layer here. And for the direction here, I'm going to make this to 180 degrees. And then once you mess with the stretch here, you can kind of see what's happening. And it gives off a pretty cool effect, as you can see. So if we bring this up to like four, you can see the stretch is kind of stretching the car a bit. So we can move the center down to where it's only like the gravel here and then bring the stretch back up and you can see it kind of warps the ground which is super cool and what you can do is keyframe the stretch here so start a keyframe at your starting value then go to the end of the clip and just bring that back down to zero and it looks like the ground is almost like warping into the clip which is super cool i'm sure you guys can create some super cool effects using this you can also change the direction to whatever you want we can have this at like 90 degrees so it's pulling from the side here or we could just have it at zero something like this and then once again, just mess with the stretch here. We can have this at like 10 and I'm just going to mess with the center value here. Bring it back up a little bit. So yeah, the skill wipe is a lot of fun to use. You can mess with it a lot and just kind of experiment with it. But now we're going to go ahead and move on to the final effect. Now for this last effect here, you're going to need a plugin called Glitchify. So if you don't have that, you will need it for this effect, but it does cost some money, so you will need to buy it. But once you have Glitchify installed, that's the only plugin you need for this effect. So the first thing we need to do for this effect is rotor brush. Once again, um, we're just going to rotor brush the car here. All right, so the rotor brush looks good on this first frame. So I'm just going to go frame by frame once again, and I'm just going to kind of go pretty fast along here. It doesn't look like it messed up too much, maybe around here a little bit. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit freeze and wait for this to be done. All right, so that's done. So we're just gonna close out of that layer. And once again, we wanna go ahead and duplicate this layer here. And you actually wanna duplicate this two times. So you should have three layers here. And on the bottom layer, you wanna go ahead and delete your rotor brush, but you can keep the rotor brush on the other two layers here. And like I said earlier, you wanna use the effect called Glitchify. And we wanna bring that onto the middle clip here. And you're gonna need to change a few settings. So let's go into the image glitch, turn this one off. And the color glitch, you can turn that one off. And the effects that we're gonna be changing are in this channel glitch right here. So we just wanna go to 
to the channel split right here. Turn the horizontal amount to zero. And then the speed multiplier, we're gonna bring that down to zero. And then the channel scale is what we're gonna mess with here. And as you can see, you get these like super cool like pixels kind of like spreading right here, as you can see, as you move the scale slider. You can toggle the vertical on if you want. So it's like expanding upward like that. And it just looks super cool. You got all these like kind of like waveforms or whatever you want to call them but yeah, it looks super cool in this shot right here so i'm just going to keep this on horizontal though so i'm going to leave the vertical toggled off and we just want to go ahead and keyframe the scale i'm going to start the scale at zero and then have it go up here like this just crank that value up and we can just easy easy these keyframes i just hit you on the keyboard right there to open up the keyframes and then just hit f9 to easy ease them and we're just going to make a simple graph like this, there we go. So now you can see it like expands out from the car here. And I like to add glow to this also. So let's just bring on our glow here and bring the glow threshold to like 30 and then glow radius to 90. Maybe the glow radius is too much. We can kind of lower that. And then we can change the glow colors here to A and B colors once again. You can mess with these if you want. But I'm just gonna keep those on the original colors. I think those look pretty cool. So this is what the glow on and then glow off. You can see there's a huge difference there. So I like to have the glow on for this effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this effect. If you want, you can duplicate this glitchify effect and then we can change the uh, channel glitch here back in the channel scale we can turn this on to vertical so now you get like the vertical and horizontal at the same time which just looks crazy but i mean it looks kind of cool if you use it like in the right clip or whatever but all up to you guys just mess with the different effects in this glitchify here i hope you guys learned some new effects from this video and if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out